नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग राम राम यू आर वॉचिंग यूर चैनल ए सी एस टू वी से यूर्स बिकॉज दिस इज यूर्स वी आर हेयर बिकॉज ऑफ यू वी आर टूडे हेयर विद वेरी ब्यूटिफुल वीडियो एंड हैप्पी वीडियो वाई ब्यूटिफुल वाई हैप्पी बिकॉज मार्स इज कमिंग आउट ऑफ इट्स डेबुलेशन एंड नाउ मार्स विल मूव टू द फ्रेंड साइन एंड डू गुड फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू दिस टू मंथ्स वी सी लॉट्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम बट नाउ happy time i'm happy time for you also because for our viewers we have bring a very uh, beautiful you can say a quiz a game anything you can say you have to just written a subscribe after subscribing this channel and give us a feedback then how ac astro can be improved channel give your suggestion and one of the lucky winner will get a free chart reading with akash ji on video consultation happy news so your brain should be running like now uh improve things which you need to tell us so let's welcome akash ji because he is all ready with his research on mars Hello, akash ji very happy because he is the happiest person when mars will come out of deviation <laughs> my mars dasha and on top of that um, mars dasha and on top of that um, and mars is bhagesh ninth house lord and it is supposed to be uh, debilitating anyway Definitely. this is part of life you know we have to see part of life so roji ji here uh, mars uh, will be in leo from 1st july onwards and uh, it will bring lot of relief for everyone okay because mars is the planet of courage and the planet of blood flow in our body so if that is uh, debilitated that means the courage and you know we do not we feel that powerless we feel do no power at all now let's start with aries ascendant now a very good news for everyone aries ascendant people so what we have started is that if you are watching the video and we have mutually decided that this is not a channel of me and rohit ji this is a channel of our family so we want you to please subscribe subscribe as well as comment below that what kind of uh, idea you know we need to improve our channel a lot and uh, you know we might be thinking that we are doing the best ideally we this is the best but there can be your ideas which can be wonderful so please share your idea and i will rohit ji and we will choose that if this is the best idea then we will give them a free chart reading one on one consultation with me so rohit for aries ascendant people here uh, mars was debilitated in the fourth house for uh, you know no, general peace happiness and so many other things a uh, mother motherland car family as well as you know um, uh, what you say your uh, vehicles and this was you know mars being the planet very fearful planet getting debilitated here made a lot of disturbance in this house but now good news that mars is transiting leo that means it will come in full force on the 1st of july in the 5th house and it will enhance the creative energy your passion your self expression it is a favorable time for people who are into love you know love and romance and startups those people who want to start up those people who want to uh, get their education going higher education for them it is supposed to be a very wonderful period and here there is uh, another good news is that mars will be aspecting its own house now so mars will be coming here and aspecting the 8th house okay which is fourth aspect of mars here that means uh, those people who are in the research based jobs will get good benefits during this period the second aspect will be on the 11th house that means automatically gains its gains are seen here that mars will favorably will give you gains and remember the 11th house lord is retrograde right now it is withdrawing its energy from that house and going towards the backward house so that means gains from career is seen and the eighth aspect is on the 12th house those who are thinking of going to foreign countries for studies for uh, you know other purposes uh, like for visit for tourism any kind of stuff it is a good period for you to go there now make sure that with a lot of money earning comes losses also and uh, mars is sitting in the lakshmi sthan for you so make sure during this period losses happen it should happen but it should happen of your time not your money so make sure you devote yourself towards dharma towards some karma dharma karma and some kind of you know uh, secret puja because the fourth aspect of the mars will give you uh inner peace fourth what is the fourth fourth is the house of inner peace and when mars will aspect the fourth 
that is the 8000 will give inner peace and how will that come through hidden things so make sure you do a very secret navgraha puja in your home or some kind of homam so that you get good benefit during this period those who cannot do puja secretly at least for every tuesday like for one month like from whole of july put a candle or a diya or a lamp in your house in every evening of tuesday it will bring you good benefits and good success during this mars transit audio roji yes success test a very beautiful contest where you have to just suggest ac astro that how you can improve chan written subscribe and you will be the lucky winner who get a chart reading mm -hmm. from akash apart from this uh, those who are new this is benefit for them also but to those who want a personal chart reading on very urgent basis that oh i can't wait for all these things i need a consultation they can just drop details on the whatsapp or the mail id given below and you will have a chart reading video consultation with us so let's move now the time for the taurus ascendant people to know that how this mars who is moving to leo will bring happy news from them and which field let's see yes roj ji so here for taurus ascendant people mars was actually debilitated in the third house of communication so a lot of problems in professional as well as personal communication which were happening to them now for taurus ascendant mars is supposed to be the uh, a maraka as well right and also the owner of the 12th house so when mars is supposed to be niche here that means 7th house it will give trouble as well as the 11th house so a uh, 12th house sorry now the good thing is that for Taurus ascendant Mars is traveling into the fourth house, and fourth house, you know, it is the time for you to now uh, recover uh, and uh, you know re uh, what you say revisit your family, uh, you know your ambitions, your family life, and um, basically the fourth house is the house of emotional security. That uh, what what brings you most emotional security? It is that house, and here Mars also says that. Um, those people who were away from their homeland those people who did not were away because from a relationship like a wife or a relationship like a mother you know such such people who were away from motherland it is a chance for them to travel it is a chance for them to have a kind of you know revisit to your house during this period roji ji uh, it is the period where motivation is will be at the highest peak because first of all mars will be looking from the fourth aspect to the seventh house and that means it will repair all because it's own house of mars so it will repair all the relationship problems that you have been going through from last one and a half month when mars was debilitated now after that it will look at the 10th house of career roji career is the most important thing for everyone and because of the communication gap between your you and your career or your workplace or your employees or your bosses or your juniors or your seniors here it is going to improve that and mars is going to give you courage to take bold actions during this time also gains because the eighth aspect of mars is on the 11th house and here it it promises gains it is the house of jupiter jupiter is currently in sitting you know one house uh, above from itself from the 11th house so automatically mars will enhance the gains during this period so overall for taurus ascendant people a lot of communication problem that was happening will go and inner peace is promised during the transit of mars in from 1st of july inner peace is possible and uh, you have seen about our contest free chart reading only for one person who will be the lucky winner how you can become lucky winner subscribe the channel right subscribe and give your feedback how we can improve the acs too we will discuss all comments the best will get free chart reading and this winner will be announced in next english video so stay tuned and those who are new you definitely now you will subscribe to take part in this but to those who want a personal consultation from akash ji and uh, they want a detailed reading they just drop your details on the whatsapp number or the mail id given below team will contact you and you will have free uh, you will have a chart reading with akash ji video consultation so moving to the gemini ascendant let's see the when mars will move to the leo sign
how Gemini will be benefit from this. Yes, Vijay, for Gemini ascendant people, uh, it is uh, favorable because you know the main yeah. problem which they were facing uh, is the second house, Dhan, Dhan Kutum and Vani. Their speech was of no consequence. Yes, Vijay, what? Rash. Speech was rash. Speech was rash. They were going through problem in their family life. They were going through problem in the money. There was no money. Money coming and spending like crazy. Mm. Now it is a good time, Rohitji, because uh, very beautifully Mars will transit into the uh, third house, and here it will, and it is the house of courage, you know, third house, and Mars is the planet of courage. So it, now it will give you courage, you know. This is the period of you gaining courage. It will boost your communication skills. You will have more command over your. Uh, over, over everyone who is around you, you will have more command. Your mental energy, physical energy, courage, everything is will be at peak during this time. You will not fear anyone. It is a time for, you know, uh, those people who have some kind of talent in them. If you have some kind of talent in yourself and you want to explore it, see, this third house is the house of personal interest as well, Rohit Like, Like, for example, astrology is our personal interest. Yeah. Third house uh, also is very important. Whenever you want to see career, we see third, tenth, and I see the fifth also because it's very important because we have to see the money from where the money is coming. Mm. So third, tenth, and fifth, they are the most important houses. Now, Roji also, uh, as far as the communication becomes very good, on the other front, health also will become very good. If any litigations, any court cases, any troubles, any enemies, you will now overcome that because... Mars is aspecting the sixth house with the fourth Rishti. That means it will give inner peace in the area of health in your workplace, uh, in uh, through your or for your uh, what we say enemies, as well as if you are any under any litigations. But another good news is that your destiny will work for you. So right now your destiny was not working for you, but because Mars aspects the ninth house and the ninth house lord is retrograde, that means the ninth house energy is supposed to be. Saturn is going to be withdrawing the energy from this place. So here it shows. And also one more thing, Roji. Here Saturn is also aspecting the uh, third house. So that, that energy also is being withdrawn because of it becoming retrograde. So mm -hmm. both the places, it is win-win situation. So destiny will rise during this period. Uh, you should be a little bit of dharmic or a little, of, of little bit of spiritual during this period. It will enhance the... It will enhance the result of Mars in a better way. Those who are associated with real estate, it is a blessing time for you. And the 10th house, Drishti, the 8th aspect of uh, Mars, here it pr promises that there will be some breakthrough in your career. There will be some good news in your career. And mm -hmm. that good news will come from your own hard work and your own communication skills. Mm -hmm. So overall, a very pleasant time for Gemini Ascendant people and wish you all the luck. Very pleasant time and uh, this was a not a pleasant time from you know 10th May onwards because lots of things happened the country also you remember that train accident which happened I remember the uh, many states I see the fire incidents just because Mars is deviated and it was doing so now it will be moving to Leo sign. And those who are new to this channel, very good news for all of our family members that Akashji decided to bring a new thing. So family can connect with us. You have to just write a subscribe, those who are new, and give a feedback that what we can do to improve AC Astro. Give your feedback. We will scrutinize all comments. And the one, the one who has given a very beautiful feedback will is lucky winner and get a free consultation, chart reading, video consultation with us. So you can be that fellow, definitely. Use your fifth house and write a feedback. And the lucky winner will be announced in the next English video. And those who want a detailed chart reading, personal chart reading from Akashi on an urgent basis, they, oh, I want to take some decisions. They can just drop your details on the WhatsApp number or the mail ID given below. Team will contact you and you will have a detailed chart reading with Akashi on video consultation. Now moving on to next sign, Cancer. Oh, how they are feeling because Mars was debilitated in their Lagna. Oh, what they are feeling. I am. I can understand this. Few Cancer ascendant people are in my house also. So Cancer ascendant people, uh, Mars was in their ascendant. It was debilitated here. 
and it was not pleasant at all to be come come in front of a world with zero courage zero mm-hmm. determination zero power health being very disturbed also on the other hand uh, everyone taking you for granted and thinking that you cannot do anything this is what is was happening from for cancer ascendant and mostly re- roji in relationships because mars was aspecting the 7th house when it was debilitated it was an exalted aspect but still because you tried a lot a very difficult very hard work in your relationship but it did not work because even if mars was putting uh, as uh, uh, exalted aspect on the 7th house you yourself were not confident that mm-hmm. is it. but now it is a good time for you because it will be transiting into leo so you know it's it, it is said that after darkness comes the light this is what it means during this period in leo it will activate your second house emphasizing your financial matters values and material possessions you may experience increased motivation to earn spend and make important financial decisions everything that was uh, on uh, hold can now be put on you know as work in progress things will be better for you uh, the the self respect or the respect which you deserved or which you needed or which you demanded and you did not get this is the time when self respect will come to you because second house is also the house of self respect so mars here says that yes your self respect will be restored you know that is what it says now see the mars here in a very important way if we see the aspects of mars uh, transiting this house it is the eighth it is the fourth aspect that is on your fifth house that means your dhan so both the houses like second house of finances and the fifth house of dhan fifth house is the house of uh, children fifth house is the house of uh, money fifth house is the house of purva punya fifth house is the house of creativity fifth house is the house of uh, your ishtadev so here mars looking at the own house will enhance the fifth house qualities and make sure that you get all the benefits from all the 5 6 7 and you know 500 things that are uh, related to the fifth house and on top of that uh 1 2 3 4 5 6 on top of that the seventh the seventh aspect on your eighth house says that those people who are uh, you know working with research kind of um, jobs or working with uh things related to uh yeah like those people who are in uh, in the government those people who are working on private or pro- confidential projects those who are astrologers numerologists all these aspiring people for them it is going to be a wonderful time because here you will be able to uh find that that path that that motive of your life that how do we move forward and what kind of th- action mm. should we take to attain the 8th house qualities that is being secretive also and not being so open about our progress also because um, you know there is a very important thing in our uh, life and that is uh, nazar that is bad uh, what you say evil eye so to f- and that is because of the 8th house so make sure if your 8th house is disturbed do not share any your secrets with others because you will get an evil eye the other aspect of mars that is on your 9th house also promises that now this is a time for your bhagya to rise because see the 5th house and the 9th house are both are getting activated at the same time and by by whom by the planet who rules the 5th house and the 10th house that means there is going to be bhagya there for you in some way or the other a, a small accomplishment which you needed to be done will happen during this period so roji overall it's a important transit and this transit promises luck as well as gains in money for cancer ascendant people we also you know pray for your luck and your luck is also here on ac astro also if you are a new subscriber please write a subscribe and comment below if you already subscribed then you can also write subscribed already and then you can write a feedback here in comment section and tell us how we can be a better channel improve channel give your suggestion please and the one lucky winner will be get a free chart reading with akashi on video consultation so it's a big opportunity for you people the video in next english video we will announce the winner please do that and those uh, who want a personal consultation from akashi maybe astro cartography maybe chart reading maybe chart matching anything they can just drop details on the whatsapp number given below or the mail id team will contact you and you will have a video consultation
so now moving on to on sign of akash ji he can explain better what leos are feeling in this uh, i think 30 and uh, 50 days almost these 50 days very difficult how they feel now how they will feel after first july everything <laughs> very difficult time for you as people i'm saying very difficult time for you as indian people first of all uh, the the yoga karka planet whenever it becomes debilitated there is losses and that losses of money that losses of sometimes respect and so that loss can be of sometime um mm, related to your related to people thinking negative about you that you know this person is very busy this person does not have time this person has this and that but they don't know the reality that and you are the same warrior because main thing is that you are also going through mars mahadasha yes i am going to mars mahadasha and on top of that ketu antardasha <laughs> and on top of that when mars becomes debilitated so mars and ketu both act like mars only ketu also acts like mars so now double mars debilitation was very difficult but now it is uh, i think uh, things will look great because whenever mars will come the 12th house you know it it says that during this period your spiritual spirituality in the mode of you becoming more spiritual or attached to the spiritual realm becomes less and i have seen that it is happening that earlier i used to at least uh, get up in the morning do some kind of spiritual activity but now you know everything is like on like when i am traveling i am listening to vishnu sahasra naam when i am doing this and you know when i am uh, it is not uh, always uh, it is not always like uh, been like this there was specific time for it so the daily routine was disturbed because of mars aspecting the 6th house of daily routine and that to ex uh, exalted aspect now the past is past let's talk about what is going to happen mars will be transiting in the first house that will intensify the personal you know energy self confidence and assertiveness it is the time we will feel more passionate driven but you know it is the time when we can become more overly aggressive and especially in our family life because of the aspect of mars so mars will for aspect from here into the fourth house that fourth house is again family and family members mother motherland seventh house aspect is again your wife spouse business partner so you can become aggressive during this period with them and the eighth house that is the hidden house automatically this uh, is good for people who are into research because the mars will give you good immense power and energy and brain to do research but also bad for people who are uh, you know into just normal routine but um, like for example drivers those who are driving uber those who are driving trucks it is a time of lot of stress for them lot of travel 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 lot of sudden ups and downs and in money also ups and downs so it is seen during this period but money will so here roji another thing which i want to make very clear is money will not be uh, becoming like extraordinary well during this period but yes overall the courage the the seeds which you will uh, sow during this period will reap good benefits during the during uh, when uh, you know now mars enters later next month it will enter into the second house then it will enter into the third fourth and you know so on the the progression of mars you will see good results happening for you overall another thing which roji is important is during this period make sure that uh, because it is in your ascendant so that is why it is important for leo ascendant people to do little bit of shiva upasana so you know if you know how mars was born mars was born by the drop, drop of a sweat of lord shiva lord shiva drops sweat, sweat fell on land and mars was born so mars is actually the son of lord shiva and ma parvati and he is the uh, also lord kartikeya is very important uh, deity rohit ji where is associated with mars almost like mars is lord kartikeya lord kartikeya is mars so uh, mars has fierce energy make the good use of this energy and make sure you sow a lot of seeds during this period so that you can take the fruits as soon as mars keeps transiting over your other houses which fruits you will get definitely because bhagesh is coming out of deflation and uh, you can also get the fruits when you will write subscribe maybe you are new subscriber or already subscribed 
and give your feedback that how we can improve our channel. Basically, give some positive suggestions. And the lucky winner will get a free chart reading with Akashji on video consultation. But the winner will be announced in next video. Till then, keep commenting positive things. Now, those who want a personal consultation with Akashji, those who want that, no, I want consultation. Yes, they have opportunity. Drop your details on the WhatsApp number or the mail ID given below. You will get the answers of so many problems you are facing. Team will contact you and you will have a video consultation. So now moving further, let's move to the Virgo people. Virgo people, uh, how you will feel good, Akashji will tell you from 1st of July. Virgo ascendant people, Rohitji. Uh, so here, all the gains, all the social circles, everything related to the 11th house, relationship with your elder siblings, uh, relationship with, uh, you know, your business partners, gains from your business. Everything was seen, looking good on paper 50 days ago. But now, last 50 days had been very terrible because there is no gains. Because Mars was debilitated in the 11th house. But it is not a very pleasant time for you again as well. Because, you know, here uh, Mars is now going into the 12th house. And 12th house is again for uh, um, for this uh, Virgo ascendant people. It is the house of losses. House of spiritual awakening but losses as well. So money will come but it will turn into losses. Money will come and it will go directly to somewhere where you were supposed to pay and you do not get anything. But at least Mars will give you this kind of... Uh, uh, what is it? assurance because it is making a Raj Yog here. It is making a Vipreet Raj Yog because it is the owner of the 8th house sitting in the 12th house. That is why there will be losses. But at least those losses will not affect you very heavily like it had done during the period of Mars debility. So what now, do you suggest for these people that they must do some foreign trip or some, you know, um, by air, they can go somewhere. So 12th house, they can spend some money on 12th house. No, Roji. So 12th house, money spending is not the uh, thing. Our Shastra says that 12th house losses means loss of your time. Mm. Sit one hour, two hour and sit and just concentrate and just meditate. That yeah. is loss of money. You know, time is money. Time so is loss of yes. Loss of time is also loss of money. But no one understands that this kind of loss, if you are doing for loss of money, is the time when you will be making a lot of spiritual progress. It is the time, Roiji, that when Mars will uh, transit here in the house of sun, it is the time when it is it will increase the energy of spiritual persuades, solitude and self-reflection. Now, somehow it will you will fight within yourself. This is the not the time when you will fight with other people. This is the time you will fight within yourself to confront hidden desires or confront part, past issues. The things that you have done in past, you will fight with yourself that you did it wrong. Now, how did you? How do you need to uh, make sure that next time you do not you do such kind of uh, commitments or such kind of mistakes? Now, talking about aspects of Mars, Roiji, it is aspecting the third house. That means courage will be increased. However, uh, Mars in the 12th house will make you, basically it is making a Vipreet Raj Yoga, so it will not make major losses. But still, any losses that you feel during this period, your courage will be so high that, that you will neglect that and move forward with a lot of, you know, lot of energy. So that losses does not mean a lot for you. On the other hand, the sixth house, so you will be overcoming your enemies again. See, third house courage, sixth house enemies will be overcome. And same way, Mars expecting the seventh house will make sure that relationships also improve. But make sure Mars is a planet of lot of aggressiveness, so aggression. So it should not affect you in a way where if you are going through some kind of pain during this period, you put it on your partner. Okay. Make sure that the eighth aspect, again, it is a hidden aspect of Mars. You can have hidden agendas with your partners. Or, you know, you can be sadistic during this period, forcefully trying to uh, attack them. So make sure you do not do that because your karma will be, uh, you know, questioned later on. So make sure that Lord Shiva, a little bit of Aradhana to Lord Shiva, little bit of Aradhana to Hanumanji because it is in the 12th house. And uh, 
it will give good fruits but don't expect like um, 100% fruits uh, 100% you know ripe fruits there can be little bit of sourness to it it will not be sweet so i think good news for virgo and good news for all of you also because we have ruled uh, ruled uh, rolled out a new thing that you have to just write a subscribe and give a feedback that how ac astro can be a very improved and good channel give your suggestions and one lucky winner will get a free chart reading with akash ji on video consultation but the winner will be announced in next english video so thank you very much and those who want a personal consultation with akash ji one on one video consultation detail chart reading they can just drop details on the whatsapp number or the mail id given below team will contact you and you will have a video consultation with you. okay now the time for the libra ascendant uh, let's see that how this mars will bring a good results for the libra so for oh, libra ascendant yes so libra ascendant people libra ascendant people however you want to take it for libra uh, um, the 10th house the career the place of your work was little bit disturbed and there was no conversion of things happening for you mm-hmm. but now conversion of things will start happening because you are supposed to get gains it will enhance your social connections networking and goals you know yes. your higher goals which you have kept will be achieved it is a favorable period for collaborative projects team efforts and social activities so if you mm-hmm. want to do any kind of marketing social activity it is a good mm-hmm. time more uh, better uh, is that the aspects so now let's see the aspect so the first aspect goes on the second house the fourth aspect of mars goes on the second house and that is again money and money so money and some kind of money is going to come to you and because it is sitting in the left this is the best for out of all the 12 ascendants for libra libra ascendant it is the best ever transit just make good use of this so one 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 month when the mars will be here now the second aspect will go on the fourth house oh uh, sorry on the fifth house so that means if you have done any kind of higher education if you have done any kind of education now that will come to use otherwise if you want to go into any kind of educative state educative place it is a good period for you your education and educative things will enhance uh, like education or startups or uh, again see very beautifully placed uh, mars aspecting the fifth house is house of money second house house of money fifth house house of money and the sixth house house of debts so if you are under debts if you were in lot of debts and lot of enemies were build up suddenly they will start disappearing because mars will destroy all the energy that is the f- uh, enemy that is the first role of mars and secondly if your enemy is debt it will also destroy debt so for libra libra ascendant also it is very beautiful and make the most the best use of this time and i know as you are listening right now you are connected to lord shiva so just say om namah shivaya once again and move forward this month and you are going to be having great time oh libra people i also feel the very lucky people the best transit for them and if you are going through mars mahadasha then very good and the best transit in your life for all people is to you know all want that i please akash ji read my chart but is very busy but now the new function which we have bring is that you have to just write a subscribe and give your feedback that how ac astro can be a good channel how we can improve this just give your feedback you all will give feedback one lucky winner will get a free chart reading from akash ji the winner will be announced in the next english video so wish you best of luck and now those who want a personal consultation with akash ji and they want that no i want a detailed chart reading anyhow very soon they can just drop your details on the whatsapp number on the mail id you can get a video consultation with akash ji detailed chart reading now the next sign is the again i think lucky sign because they were no very disturbed the lagnesh got debilitated scorpio people exactly scorpio people were very very stressed because their destiny was not working the mm. lord of the ascendant sitting in the house of destiny and getting debilitated that means your destiny becomes weak but now your destiny and everything will become okay and mars is going into the 10th house and that means it will give lot of power to the career and your business so if you're in your career or business it's going to be time for good power in your mm-hmm. career and business and also you know all the ambitions that you had can now take off your public image will improve your profession you will have a very good professional drive you may experience increased motivation to you know achieve recognition and success and that is very 
the way Mars works. Mars is extreme. Whenever we talk about Mars, Mars is an extreme planet. It gives extreme results. Mm -hmm. uh, either it will give extreme bad results, extreme good results. So here it is going to give extreme good results. On the good front, it is that it is aspecting the ascendant. So that means yourself will be so confident that no one will be able to stand in front of you. Same way it is aspecting the fourth house to so those people who are supposed to be closing on a property, buying a property, or are in the business of real estate. It is going to be a massive month for you. You are going to be earning a lot of money because of the aspect, because of the eighth aspect of Mars. And that is happening on your fifth house. That is the house of your creativity, house of money, house of Purva Punya, Lakshmi Stan. Here you are supposed to be making money for sure from your career, from your business. From partnerships, from um, you know, from your uh, from dealing in land, property, house, selling, buying, anything, you are going to be making money. This is the time. This is the month of your for you to make money. Make sure that keep Hanumanji and keep Lord uh, Shiva in the back of your mind. At least uh, you know that will enhance extra. It will give an extra boost to Mars during this. So all the best. All the best to our family members also because everyone has a dream that please Akashji read my chart. But rarely they get, you know, in live only one question. So now this is opportunity when we rolled out this thing that you have to just subscribe the channel. Write subscribe if you are sub, uh, subscribed a uh, few days back, a few months, no problem. Just write subscribe already and give your feedback that how we can improve ACS store. We will scrutinize all comments. The one best comment we'll get, he will be the lucky winner and get a video consultation from Akash. The winner will be announced in next English video. So keep giving feedback and best of luck. But those who say, no, I want a detailed chart reading. Now I have to take so many decisions. They can just drop details on the WhatsApp number on the mail ID given below. Team will give you a, you know, a video consultation time with Akashji and you will have it sitting only at home. So now the time for the Sagittarius people already feeling relaxed after the retrogression of Saturn. Now yes, what they the, uh, There was a lot of ups and downs in there uh, for last 50 days in Sagittarius ascendant because Mars was in the 8th house and Mars debilitating in the 8th house made a Rajyu for them, Vibrit Rajyu, but still it was not a pleasant period because you know Roiji, um, uh, eighth house is also the house of inheritance and family affairs, lineage. So there must have been some kind of problem because Mars is blood, blood relations, right? So there yeah. can have been problem with the blood relatives also. So now, but Mars is moving into the ninth house, house of, you know, uh, destiny, house of uh, spirituality, house of success, house of earning punya, earning spiritual bliss for this lifetime. Yeah. Uh, beautiful, you know why, Rohiji? Because at this moment, as we are talking, uh, Jupiter is also aspecting this house. So, Jupiter is the ascendant lord aspecting the fifth house, aspecting the ninth house from the fifth house. It means that if childbirth was a concern for you, it is a good time. Mars has that power now to you should plan immediately because of that force that Mars will give you, you will uh, be able to uh, get childbirth happen. But over than that, your desire for knowledge, for travel and spiritual expansion will increase. This uh, period favors in higher education, educational pursuits or long distance journeys and philosophical expo exploration. Not only that, the aspects, the three aspects of Mars. So number one aspect, Mars sitting in the ninth house, aspecting the twelfth house. It also signifies that if you are supposed to go on a long distance journey, this is the right time. You can take the decision now. And some people, as we are speaking, Sagittarius Ascendant people, will comment below that, yes, we are doing a long distance journey. We are going to foreign country. We are going to this place. We are going to that place. So it is very favorable time for a long distance journey. Another than that, the other aspect, Roiji, happens on the third house. So courage, the house of courage. Courage will be at peak. You will not fear anyone during this period. Your communication, your courage, and the status uh, of your existence in the uh, neighborhood, in your surroundings, will be very much prominent. People will recognize you. And on the same way, the other aspect that is happening on the fourth house, 
also says that there can be travel because see fourth house the eighth aspect of mars that can be travel sudden travel also so and uh, another uh, thing which can happen is that fourth house uh, some people might buy property also because mars is also the karaka of property mm. so overall very beautiful period i hope that uh, you make the best use of this period going forward um do lot of shiv upasana do lot of hanuman ji upasana and more the the result will be more enhanced so may hanuman ji bless you lots of happiness and happiness to all of you because now there is an opportunity to connect with akash ji get a free chart reading how you have to just write a subscribe and give a feedback in a comment section that how acs2 can be a very improved channel what new we can do you just write and from all of your comments we will scrutinize and take one as a lucky winner and he will get have a video consultation with akash ji but that will be announced in a next english video so keep watching videos for the winners and those who want a detailed chart reading from akash ji those who want that uh, yes i need a detailed chart reading now tell me how then very simple drop your details on the whatsapp number or the mail id given below team will contact you and you will have a personal video consultation with akash now the time for the capricorn people oh so for okay. ascendant people yes so ji now it is going into the 8th house but it was in the 7th house 7th house of relationship so somehow mm-hmm. relationship with your business partners with your partners with your working partners were not working very good but now it will start after 1st of july you might again start a conversation with them and things will start coming to back to normal yes, yes. but uh, mars uh, uh, transiting to in leo activates your 8th house increasing your intensity regard shared resources that means i i have been repeating in other videos as well that if there is some kind of inheritance some kind of things related to inheritance which you are fighting a case or which you are going through you know on talks or something this is the time when you will be getting that it also means that uh, some transformations that means you might start some new thing in your life and as well as intimate connections that means connection with your family with your friends with your loved ones can be very intimate during this period you can immediately or you know you can have sudden kind of gains from your in laws sudden kind of gains like romantic gains from your partner and uh, another than you will feel very much uh, motivated to address financial or emotional issues and that is because of the aspects of uh, you know uh, mars so mars here is aspecting the 11th house that with the first uh, with the fourth aspect and that means it will give sukh in the 11th house and that sukh will be related to gains of money that is why you have to address your financial issues another uh, thing that mars will give you is the aspect on the second house again mars is telling and promising you money and money increase in money monetary benefits and some kind of fixed asset that was with you or is with you might was might have been giving you trouble and you unknowingly did not know about it it will go away and you will start benefiting by the loss of that asset so don't worry about loss just worry about the gain that it will bring to you and on the third the courage your courage will be improved you will be more your ideas will be more potent and you will be very very courageous during this period to take any kind of challenge which is coming in front of you so overall it is challenging because mars is in the 8th house but it the challenge overcoming the challenge comes in your ball, your the ball comes in your court you have to make sure that how you overcome the challenge now the aspect of jupiter here which is happening will help you a lot and also mm-hmm. the ascendant lord which is getting retrograde will help you a lot so there are many factors it also depends on your current dasha antar dasha but overall it is a very pleasant period for capricorn ascendant very pleasant for capricorn i am very happy thank you and very pleasant for all of you also because uh, you had now a great opportunity to connect with akash ji free chart reading for one person only who is that lucky one person it will be you know a certain only when you write subscribe in a comment section and give us a feedback below that how acs2 can be a improved channel one lucky winner whose comment will be the best who we think that yes this is the best feedback given they will get a video consultation with akash ji the winner will be announced in next english video keep watching all videos for your name be sure 
and now those people who want a personal consultation with akash ji they can just sit back at home drop details on the whatsapp i number or the mail id given below team will contact you and you will have a video consultation with akash ji now the time for the capricorn people how they will get benefit when one of the aspect on the lagna also because capricorn is one of the sign uh, after aquarius saturn based capricorn done forget your capricorn no 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 i am telling that Cap capricorn is a one of the sign uh, after aquarius is one which is lord is saturn so lord yes. is saturn i thought you are still uh, thinking no, no, that no. i will again say about uh, uh, capricorn and you will become more happy no 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 so for aquarius ascendant people yes the health the enemies and the litigations or some kind of uh, you know workplace trouble was consistent because of mars being debilitated in the 6th house but now that mm -hmm. changes because it is now um, it will influence the 7th house because it's transiting there and it will intensify your partnerships your relationships and social interaction it is favorable period for taking action in relationships and initiating new connections so that means if you were in this situation where you were supposed to finalize your relationships where you were supposed to make sure that you know now we need to take the relationship to a different level or maybe marriage or maybe in terms of business relationships in relationships in just you know uh, taking it to you know like like we were thinking about opening a company but now it is the time to open them. and that happens with great uh, great professional uh, what you say um, growth or success is guaranteed during this period because of mars aspect mars fourth aspect is on the 10th house and 10th house is the house of career house of your social status and house of your uh, you know connections and this says that when mars will aspect its own house the 10th house it will enhance the results of this house another other than that mars will also see the look at the first house that is the ascendant and it will also enhance the ascendant as well as it will make you more courageous and here financial decisions which you need to take from the aspect, eighth aspect of mars that is on your second house will make sure that financially also professionally relationship will be good professional life will be good you will be confident so finance will come so it is all interconnected so overall finance will come but because of the eighth aspect of mars on your second house you can use rough and bad or you know arrogance in your tone while talking make sure you be humble and do lot of upasana of lord shiva and lord uh, hanuman during this period so that you get more enhanced results of mars which is beautifully going to be placed in your 7th uh, house which beautiful results and you can see the red colored free chart reading this is opportunity for all of you now the golden opportunity i think you have to just write you have to first subscribe the channel not only i have written subscribe no first subscribe the channel then write subscribe then give your feedback below that how acs2 can be a more improved channel how we can improve our videos or content and anything and you will be the lucky winner one comment we will shortlist and that will get a video consultation from akash keep watching all videos for your name lucky winner name so now those people who want a personal consultation from akashi that is very easy drop your details on the whatsapp number or the mail id given below team will contact you and you will have a detailed chart reading from akashi just sitting at home now the moving forward for the pisces system let us yes, for pisces ascendant people uh, creativity was zero education was not happening people or the people who are doing competitive exams couldn't study it was crazy time for them uh, all the things to start up from last 50 days not happening all the things related to uh, you know kids and uh, harmony with kids not happening love life disturbed so this was happening with pisces ascendant people mm. now mars transiting leo affects your 6th house enhancing your energy and drive regarding work health and daily routines mm. this period may prompt you to take action in organizing your life and improving well being now what does this mean it means that the energy of mars and the energy of the the mars is a maraka as well as the destiny planet for this ascendant oh. okay destiny will you know how will destiny improve because you will improve the action that the you will take actions very precisely because here mars kind of becomes very disciplined in the 6th house here. 
Hmm. It can give you blood related trouble or maybe you can have a small incident or an accident where you know you get some kind of hurt on your body where blood will come out hmm. but that is very very little bit so do no need hmm. to worry about it but hmm. still mars in the 6th house plays a very important role in terms of making you or getting you into the right routine hmm. and once you come into the right routine you start taking right actions your destiny starts working out because of the fourth aspect of mars that is happening in the house of your destiny in the ninth mm. house and with destiny also comes and also promises during this period a travel and travel can be to foreign land travel can be to small pilgrimage travel can be to some kind of um, religious activities or maybe some mm. kind of religious activity like a havan or homa at your home this is what it promises also because it promises because of the aspect of mars on the 12th house in 12th house is roji the house of long distance travel of losses but because mars is now out of debilitation in a good position it will not make losses but at least it will give you some kind of exposure to spirituality mm-hmm. and on top of that your body or yourself or your mind will be controlled by mars during this period because mars is aspecting the ascendant as well and right now rohi ji from the second house in the house of mars is sitting jupiter and aspecting the sixth house which will enhance the more beautiful results of mars so you will be confident there can be travel there can be little bit of loss of blood okay there can be some kind of some small hurt sometimes you know we just uh, while playing also we get hurt on our hand oh, and it yeah. comes out so that kind of things can happen but do make sure and do remember this if any kind of blood you know blood loss happens like you get little bit of hurt and blood comes out it is only because of mars and you surely comment below because that is how we will get to know that what are the more influences of mars wherever it goes into different houses and it is it will help for research purposes roji for pisces ascendant very beautiful destiny rises and lot of good wishes to them lots of good wishes and you know if you uh, keep chanting hanuman chalisa then it will help you to overcome from all these things because blood blood loss is not only accident sometime maybe you go to some lab and give your blood sample that is also blood out of your body so this is a thing which can be happen if you do hanuman chalisa and thank you and uh, keep subscribing because this time subscription will give you a free chart reading in next video you can see your name you have to just write subscribe and give a feedback how we can improve acs and for personal consultation you can just drop details on the mail id or the whatsapp number thank you akash ji thank you we will meet you in some next video with a winner who can get a detailed reading from you yes, till sir. then jai shri ram jai shri ram jai shri ram